Let's break down each of these three windows here for smart trade. In the previous video, we talked about buy, sell, and that's a one way transactional order. You're buying something or you're selling something. That's it. The beauty of smart trade is that we have each of these three windows that allow us to create an order and monitor it down below. So I've broken this up into three different videos. So that way it's just easy to understand each different part. So in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the first window, which covers units, price, and total. So this all comes down to how much do you want to trade? That's the whole idea of this first window. You figure out how much of your available funds do you want to use for trading? There are lots of different options and lots of ways to do this. You could type in a fixed number of units. So let's say you want to buy two Ethereum. So you can just type in two. Or in the very bottom, you'll notice that there's also a blank area. You could type in $1,000 or 1,000 USDT, and that will show you how much Ethereum that will buy you at the current price. You can also click fixed percentage values. So if you want to use 10% of your available funds all the way up to 100, you can just click it down below. The next thing to figure out is what kind of order do you want to use? And I just talked about that in the buy sell tab, but if you skip that, I'm going to explain it quickly again. You have three options, limit, market, and conditional or CUND with a period at the end. A limit order is an order that essentially is waiting in line to be filled. The order will be filled as soon as the price reaches whatever that limit price is. So if your limit price is $22,000 and BTC's price is 21,999.9999999 USDT, guess what? It's not going to get filled until it hits 22,000. Once it hits 22,000, so long as there are enough orders that are ready to sell at that price, then you'll be able to buy. So limit orders can also be partially filled. It depends on the liquidity or the amount of trading volume that's there or the amount of buying and selling that's happening. But for the most part, assuming that you're trading on trading pairs that have high liquidity, lots of buying and selling, you won't have this issue. A market order is basically you cutting to the very front of the line and you are willing to buy whatever it is or sell whatever it is. And if you're buying it, you're buying it from the lowest asking price. And if you are selling it, you are selling it to the highest bidder. Sometimes there will be slippage and slippage occurs when there aren't enough orders or not enough volume rather to satisfy the size of whatever you're buying or selling. So let's say that you want to buy 10 Bitcoin at $22,000, but at $22,000, there's only two Bitcoin. And at 22,100, there are three and you get the picture. It's going to continue to buy, 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 buy until your order is buy, buy. Your order is filled. So by filling it completely, that means that instead of buying all of it at 22,000, your average buy price might be a little bit higher, and that's what we call slippage. The last one, conditional, is a really interesting idea. Now, limit orders stay on the exchange's order books like we've discussed before. Market orders are pushed at the front of the line. Those are filled as quickly or rather as soon as possible. But conditional orders are interesting. Conditional orders allow you to hide in the order book. Three commas has a couple of features that use these conditional orders. Namely, the stop loss is actually a conditional order because exchanges only allow you to have one position open at a time. So for example, if you're on an exchange, you buy Bitcoin, you want to sell it at a higher price, you use a limit order. But if you use a limit order below the price of BTC, pretending it's your stop loss, guess what? It's going to get filled because your price is greater than the limit order. So the only way to get around this is to use a conditional limit order, which essentially is a trigger. These conditional limit orders exist on three commas servers. So whenever the price hits these amounts, then it's fired, it's sent off to the exchanges, it cancels all the existing limit orders, and it processes the new order right away. It's very intelligent. And you probably learned a little bit more than you really wanted to about the order book and how the order flow works on three commas, but there you go. The last option that might pique your curiosity is trailing buy. Three commas has lots of different options for trailing, but here on Smart Trade, there are actually three trailing buy, trailing take profit, trailing stop loss. Essentially, what trailing does is when the order starts, it will trail at a set deviation percentage. So let's say your deviation percentage is two. So every 2%, 
that the price continues to fall, it's not going to buy right away. It's just going to wait for the lowest possible price to buy. Then when the price comes up and it hits that 2% marker, that's when it buys. So instead of buying up here, you might be able to buy at a lower price. But it has a not so great possibility as well because if the price comes right down, it enables trailing, well, rather trailing buy, and the price shoots up right away, then you might, on accident, you might get not so great of a price. So trailing does have some benefits where it can secure more profits or a better entry price, but there's a risk that it could also go the opposite way. And that concludes this first window for units, price, and total.